yourself so we get your name pronounced correctly. Um, well, my name is George Morell. I uh, retired from the university about 15 years ago. I started my first career at the university in 1946, but I had already been at the university since 1937. What but was your title when you retired? When I retired, I was director of purchasing and business services. Okay. Now, I'd like to go back and just talk a little bit about your personal background. Uh, when and where were you born? I was born in Florence, just down the road a little ways. Uh, I'm a second generation native of Arizona. My father was born here in Arizona. I grew up there and came to school, left there and came to school at uh, what was then Arizona State Teachers College in 1937. I uh, worked my way through school and graduated in 1941. Went into the Air Force in December of 1941. Spent five years in, in the Air Force as a fighter pilot and uh, came out in 1946. But when the war came along, that changed plans of a lot of people. When did you first come to ASU? 1937. What was it called then? Arizona State Teachers College. Had about, uh, oh, I suppose a little over a thousand students at the time. The uh, campus was maybe 10 to 12 major buildings. Uh, we had, let's see, I think we had about seven dormitories at that time. A lot of the students lived on campus. The ones that didn't actually weren't from Tempe or Phoenix or that area usually lived on campus. We didn't have all the outside apartments and that sort of thing in those days that they have now. Um, of course, the university, I call it the university, the college at that time was uh, bisected by Orange Street and college. It ran, college ran all the way through north and south and Orange Street ran all the way through east and west as far as Forest Avenue, so uh, there was traffic through the campus at all times until they closed off in later years after the war, in later years they closed off and built the malls. When I came back from the service there weren't very many new, well there were no, no new buildings, we were just starting to, to grow, you know, and all that area where Gamage Auditorium is now and all that curve in there, except for where the trailers were was the college farm. We grew, oh, I don't know what they grew. Uh, I, I remember that uh, we raised chickens and we raised hogs and we, I, we had a dairy farm but it was a little bit out of, out on Mill Avenue and part of the produce was used for the dining hall, what little bit that they could, all the eggs and that sort of thing. And the reason I know it well is because when I came to school, that was my first job, was cleaning the chicken pens and the pig pens at the college farm. That was my first job. I did that for a year, and then I was promoted. I went from there to the dining room, and I was in the dishwashing crew in the dining room for a year. And then I was, since I was in accounting and had done some clerical work and knew got acquainted with Gilbert Cady. He gave me a job as a student assistant in the business office. So I spent my last two years as a as a clerk in the business office for when working my way through college. A little better than cleaning chicken coops. <laughs> Very much better. But going back to going back to the years when I first came back from the service uh, <clears throat> I wish I, I wish my memory were clear on all those years back there, but we built uh, <clears throat> another stadium. We built a stadium across the way from Old Goodwin.